it's testing for the 2022 season and already we have seen massive driver transfers in the market Kimi Raikkonen coming out of retirement to join Lewis Hamilton at Williams that leaves Brown and George Russell to find other teams Red Bull decided not to change the driver lineup there was rumors that big that Albon would finally make the step up but they have kept their driver lineup same goes for Ferrari they believe they have got the youngest and the best driver lineup on the grid but now we go to Mercedes Mercedes paying big bucks to get Brown out of his Williams contract and into Mercedes alongside Giovinazzi. Mercedes wanting to get rid of Giovinazzi but after Lewis Hamilton announced his departure they had no choice but to stick with him for one more season. At Renault, George Russell has gone from Williams to Renault lining up alongside Devon Butler and Renault letting go of Daniel Ricciardo. McLaren have made another good sign in Sergio Perez joining the team hoping to have a bit more success apart from his 2013 season alongside Jensen Button but McLaren looking way off the pace compared to where they were last season Haas for yet again keep their driver lineup of Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen but the car isn't making the gains that they really thought it would this season Big news at Toro Rosso, they have kept their driver lineup, but the Italian outfit has rebranded to Alpha Tauri, but will continue to run the Toro Rosso colours for this final season. Alfa Romeo have also kept their driver lineup of Sebastian Vettel and Valtteri Bottas to try and drag them back into a championship position. It was a poor start to the season for Racing Point. They didn't make it to Barcelona for testing and they have signed Nico Hulkenberg but it's going to be a long season for them. Leclerc and Gasly were on pole in third and fourth is Max Verstappen and Carlos Sainz. Valtteri Bottas is fifth with Nico Hulkenberg is sixth. Seventh is Kevin Magnussen and eighth is Lucas Weber. Kimi Raikkonen is 9th and Lewis Hamilton 10th. Devon Butler is a good 11th with Antonio Giovinazzi 12th. Brown is 13th alongside Lance Stroll. 15th and 16th is George Russell and Alex Albon. Sebastian Vettel is 17th with Lando Norris 18th. On the final row of the grid is Sergio Perez and Roman Grosjean to round out this first round of the season. Let's go to the grid. What is going on guys? Brown here, welcome to the final chapter of this career. It's been a three amazing seasons of career. Let's go out of a bang this season. 21 rounds to go. We've just come off the back of the championship win. We have moved to Mercedes. It's the, it's the move that I want. Mercedes being my favourite team. Hamilton being my favourite driver. But I, that's the only reason why I moved to Mercedes. To join Hamilton. But then he decided to replace me at Williams. But it is lights out and away we go. Everyone gingerly awake, it is wet, it's meant to dry up at the end as everyone going into turn one now. We've been very cautious, we've got Lance Stroll on the inside of us and we've hit Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi Raikkonen's gone through the gravel and he's down and he looks to be out of it, he can crawl it out of the gravel though. Everyone else flooding through us, we are been overtaken there by the Alpha Tauri of... Lucas Weber, we try and go around the outside, there's two cars side by side, we actually managed to get past both of them, there is, no there we are, trying to get past um, Devon Butler there, Devon Butler squeezes us out, and we couldn't do much there, Giovinazzi up the road, as everyone flooding through, these conditions were absolutely horrendous, this is a replay of what happened at the start, then Lance Stroll, I mean, 
I, I was just in a sandwich when I had to give large straw space, but Kimmy, Kimmy wouldn't have seen us, so you can't put Kimmy to blame. Lance Stroll probably you could have said back out of it as we lose the back end massively there. I tell you what, get into the race at this point. As there goes Lewis Hamilton down the inside of Lance Stroll. It's Nico Hulkenberg ahead of us. And now Lewis Hamilton on the back of us in his Williams and we had no pace, had no grip and Lewis Hamilton here is just going to sail, literally sail around the outside of us and go up into the points in this race, I think that is for P9 here comes Lance Stroll in his racing point, he's going to try and get past us he has actually got past us and we are going to send it again and get re overtake that lead, overtake that position, down the inside he tried it again into the far chicane trying to do what Jensen Button did to Felipe Massa back in 2011 but Lance isn't done yet and he's going to try again to the inside, down the inside we're going to squeeze him, force him to back out, now Lucas Weber possibly going to have a go in his Alpha Tauri as they come flooding through this Mercedes, wow practice it took me a while to get used to it it literally it's really understeery this Mercedes as Hamilton tries to get past Nico Hulkenberg and does it with ease he's still side by side but that Williams very very strong this season they even with the regulation change we'll get on to that later but they looking very, very strong. We have made another mistake. I had zero pace on these full wet tyres. I wasn't... Obviously, I was still trying to get used to the car as we go side by side with Lance Stroll again. And we defend him around the outside. Very aggressive there. But Lewis Hamilton is absolutely flying in his Williams. It looks very odd to see him in the Williams, I've got to be honest. But he's on the back of Kevin Magnussen. And he's literally going to sail around the outside. Pretty much copy and paste of what he did to us. Just a different corner. And now skipping on to lap 7. He's going to do the same thing to Sebastian Vettel, I think that is. No, it's um, Patrick Bottas, of course it is. His former teammate copy and paste of what he did to Kevin Magnussen now going on to lap 8 going through again we've made another mistake it was so so difficult to keep the car planted it felt like Mexico and when we had that Mexican train and it was a dry it was a dry track but it was raining that day and it was very very hard that's what this race felt like it what it reminded me of and it was, it was very uncomfortable to drive. I was still trying to get used to the car as well. To Lance Stroll. Thought about it into that right hander there. But he thought about... He didn't think too much. And he forced it back out. But going on to lap 9. And everyone thinking it is time for the intermediate tyres. The, the spray doesn't really look like it's improved. But the track, it kind of felt... It. Lewis Hamilton now coming into the final corner as those in front of him pit he thinks it's not time for the interjet and he is going to stay out there in his Williams's Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen and Carlos Sainz come in to make their one stop and go on to the inters it's very very tight as we make a massive mistake there we literally lost it everyone behind us on the full wet and we make us we've lost it now basically and here comes Lance Stroll he's probably going to re overtake us and he does get past us there there's a Renault in the background I think that is Devon Butler we're going to send it down the inside we're going to get back that move and now Lance Stroll we got it with our exit was tightened up there because we had to sail around the outside. Lance Stroll not done yet, going to try to go to the inside. We're going to have to defend around the outside 
and we've gone wide up, put it on the curb, and then he dropped it on the curb. And Lance Stroll round the outside, though we're not done yet. You can see a kind of dry line starting to appear now. We're going to send it. Lance Stroll squeezes us into the apex. I'm not having that. Lance Stroll stays out, and I now think it's it, it's time for the intermediate tyre. So we are going to come in on lap 11 to go into the inters. And now this is where the party really kind of started for us because I don't know what it was about those full wets. I had zero pace, I had no grip, I had no confidence in this Mercedes but I put the Inters on and it was like a completely different race. I actually, I managed to find my rhythm, find some pace on the, these Inters, find the grip most importantly and get the hammer down onto lap 12 Lewis Hamilton makes his stop and remember he was fighting the Red Bull and the Ferrari so let's see here if he can beat them out there's two cars going through is he hasn't beaten out the Ferraris but he has beaten out the Red Bull there of Carlos Sainz so Williams in a good job on the overcut especially in conditions like this where the Inters do tend to be lapping quicker than the full wets but finally we had some pace we managed to pull away from that stroll who stayed out that extra lap like Lewis Hamilton did and now we're on the back of George Russell our former teammate from last season we're going to send it down the inside George Russell though defends round the outside and this I really enjoyed this battle because I feel like last season with him being my teammate we didn't really fight we're gonna try again down the inside that i'm all over him but literally he's going it looks like he's really struggling we're gonna try go down the inside here and again he defends we had to back out of that one otherwise it would have been a crash probably and actually had to back out that much that our line was horrendous as we go off the track and Kind of drop it on the curb there, put a wheel in the gravel by the looks of things. But we do manage to pull away again from Lance Stroll and catch him back on lap 14. And now we're going to do what Lewis Hamilton did and sail around the outside of, of George Russell. But he is going to try and defend to that outside, but he can't. And we do finally get past... George Russell is here comes Lewis Hamilton he's caught the Ferrari there of Charles Leclerc and he's got past the Ferrari Charles Leclerc not as sorry as Max Verstappen can defend him off as there's Pierre Gasly I believe at this point um, currently in the lead of this race Lewis Hamilton though he couldn't get past Max Verstappen there but I'm sure here he will get another opportunity the track is to dry up right at the very end in this race down the inside and Lewis gets that move done in his Williams and here's Lucas Weber now in his Alpha Tauri he gets past the racing point there of Lance Stroll Lance Stroll his pace massively kind of sorry it's Hulkenberg his pace kind of dropped he was he was just in front of us I was just about kind of managing to stick with him until I kind of dropped it and then constantly had large stroll all over the back of me and that kind of helped me up every time I got away as there was a um, large stroll, I made a mistake and large stroll got me again so that was really difficult but we're on the back now of Alexander Albert I believe it is and down the inside and we get him job done fairly easy like Jensen Button did to Felipe Massa like I've mentioned in earlier in this video but on lap 19 the track has dried a lot in the last few laps the spray is kind of still there it's still is raining a little bit but drivers thinking it is time for those dry tyres and this is where it kind of felt realistic if you think back to those races like Germany in real life where it's raining but it's not raining enough last season in Mexico and into the pits um, goes um, Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton and the other Ferrari so Ferrari going to screw over Max Verstappen here as Charles Leclerc and then Charles Leclerc gets held up by the Red Bull so that's massively kind of butchered Verstappen's chances in this race Williams though despite 
Charles Leclerc getting held up couldn't get out ahead of Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton is going to have to get the job done out on track as on lap 21 the track is it's not bone dry it's getting there we're going to come in now and make the final stop of the race onto the soft and we can go to the end now and hopefully just find some time in this race but unfortunately my pace was that shocking in this race that the closest car Kevin Magnussen who I believe was P7 or P8 was 30 seconds up the road from us and there's only seven laps left I'm not a genius I'm not kind of I'm not the quickest driver in the right world I don't even think anyone like not even a pro um, esports driver could gain that much in that short amount of time Lewis Hamilton though down the inside of Charles Leclerc Charles Leclerc is going to try and defend to the outside but that Williams is rapid in a straight line but the Williams the um, Ferrari sorry putting up a fight Charles Leclerc but in the end Lewis Hamilton is able to get past us there he goes what a move that's Kimi Raikkonen so Kimi been very kind of shadows of his teammates um, in this race but can we getting the moves done now he's really struggled in the traffic because here he comes again on Lucas Weber down the inside and next at four Kimmy when he gets round the, outs round the outside of Lucas Weber is us in the Mercedes which is slightly worrying the pace he's got I mean there is only five laps to go so hopefully we can kind of pace our way through this race but on lap 25 he's caught the back of us because that Williams is very very quick we'll get on to that in a minute but he's on the back of us now is Kimi Raikkonen he's going to try and go down our inside and his engine is gone that Williams is gone bang on him oh my god Kimi Raikkonen is out he's just went from about to pull the one of the greatest moves in Australia and his engine's gone now I've had enough you ain't doing that and it's gone bang on him and that is not good for Williams they may have a ridiculous driver lineup but it doesn't mean that their engine and the car is consistent as two laps later Grosjean pulls off as well so I don't know it may be the wet weather really straining these engines but it's no smoke, it looks to be electrical, so maybe the, some water got in the electronics for Grosjean's car, but on lap 28, this is the battle for the lead, it is Pierre Gasly trying to defend off Lewis Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton though takes the lead with two laps to go, in the Australian Grand Prix, he stood on the podium once last season, it was here in Australia that he did that down the inside Charles Leclerc there goes Carlos Sainz on the final lap to get past Charles Leclerc and bump him up into fourth place I believe that is but heading into the final sector Lewis Hamilton who got one podium and not a single win last season and from the frustrations of 2021 he's going to kick 2022 off with a win Pierre Gasly P2 Carlos Sainz getting P3 on the final lap to Charles Leclerc it's going to be P5 for Max Verstappen in this race P6 is going to go to, to Sebastian Vettel P7 is going to go to Kevin Magnussen and this is how far behind we were we were just going into sector 2 that was the gap between Kevin Magnussen and ourselves For around 30 seconds it was I think I managed to get it down to 28 seconds but we're going to come into the final two corners and we're going to kick off this season it's much better than last year when we DNF'd it's two points but it's better than nothing. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. It's been coming for a while, this one. What an excellent win for Williams. 
tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Williams have put in an incredible performance out on the track today. I'm glad all the hard work of theirs has finally paid off. Well, what a way to kick off the season. Lewis Hamilton going from P10 to P1, whereas his teammate DNF. And that is the capability of Lewis Hamilton in this race. Two retirements, Roman Grosjean, Kimi Raikkonen. We came home in P8. I feel like we could have got better, but the AI are ridiculously quick in the wet. So, P8. It's kind of annoying because I know we kind of have the pace on the horses. So I feel like we could have got Kimi Raikkonen, um, Kevin Magnussen rather, sorry. But we're not going to look at the championship because the driver's championship is the result of this race. This is a constructors then. Um, Red Bull winning, um, currently winning it. So back to the paddock we go. We've got some decent R&D points, but let's just talk about kind of the driver transfers. Let's go back to that. So, Williams, to me, now got one of the most consistent driver lines. You've got Hamilton, who was ridiculously quick, can win championships, and is consistent. You've got Kimi Raikkonen, who is very quick and consistent. Other ones, Ricardo, completely just been, um, just dropped out of the sport, which I'm kind of sad to see the honey badger go. Um, these are the R&Ds of the team, as... Aero is shocking, we're second worst on the grid, so we're going to be looking to upgrade that. But let's just talk about Williams. Of course, you'll know if you watched last season, I kind of did a lot of the R&D and changed a lot of the parts. And you can see here, I messed up and I have basically made Williams unbreakable. Look, if you look, you can see there on the R&D, look at where, how much everyone went down and look how much... Williams the tiniest bit went down we'll be looking to rectify that but I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon